Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream! Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Now that I've got the ultra jump, I can get stuck on walls. No! What I actually would like to do is follow this river trail back on over to that three shine sprite room because I now have an easier chance of getting the shine sprite. Well, maybe. <laughs> I guess we'll see once we get there, because remember, we've still got all those spinias guarding the thing, and yeah, so, here we go. Let's see if I can get them all sort of together, maybe, hopefully, okay, this is a good start, kind of, oh, oh shoot, just don't want to battle. Don't want to bother battling. Ow! <laughs> well, I suppose this might actually turn out to be well, uh, turn out well because when I run from the battle, I'll have an invulnerability period, and I can use that to potentially. Yeah, what the? Did you see that? I was like stopped in the middle of my spring jump. Let me try that again because maybe something glitched, or maybe it was because I was inside the enemy when I tried performing that. Oh, there we go. I finally got it! Yes! Get out of here! Oh! Yep! Yep! Okay, I'm safe! And unwind! Alright, I'm heading on over to the Thousand Year Door because I would like to make a little progress on uh, the game's story because making progress on the game's story will allow me to get an, uh, an upgrade to one of my items, which will pretty much give me free reign to do everything that I could possibly ever need to do uh, at this moment in time. So I think that seems like a very good investment of the time. Whoop. Here we go! I'm so excited! I just can't hide it! <laughs> so sparkly, so shiny! Actually, it's pretty dull, but the edges are very sparkly and bright and shiny. It's that magic! I don't know what I'm saying here. <laughs> Every one of these... I mean, these uh, sequences where I, you know, take the crystal star to the thousand year door, they get more and more awkward! <laughs> Because it's basically me trying to commentate over the same scene over and over again. Look at that! The moon! Woo! Yeah! The location of a crystal star is recorded on your magical map. Mm hmm. My, my, what's this now? The last crystal star. It can't possibly be there. No, I can believe it. And frankly seen! Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon. The moon? Isn't that the princess's trap? Isn't the princess trapped there too? Something about this doesn't seem right. Hmm. The problem here is, how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Mm, that was really quick. Mm, looking into this may take a little time. So come back in a bit, alright? I must concentrate on this. So come back after about three minutes, will you? Well, alright. We've got some more side questing to do anyway. After a quick email check. <laughs> the real zip toad? No way! What's up, super sleuth? I heard you uncovered my imposter. You're the best man, seriously. How did you get my email? How? How? Anyway, see, when you get as big, get to be as big as a star, a zip toad, these sort of things happen all the time. It's the biz. But man alive, for a no-name like you to brave danger and find my imposter reminds me of a younger yet less successful me. Yeah, so as for me, I'm headed to Toad Town to fill my next leading role. 
a soon-to-be hit film on Golden Toad 2. It'll be huge. I hear you're on an adventure or something, so I'll leave you with a line from my last flick, The Toad Warrior. You're cool, baby, but I'm cooler. <laughs> Best of luck, kid. The superstar. The real Zip Toad. Looks like he's on the Access Express. By the way, look, look in the window there. See that at the upper left corner? That's Junior Troopa from the first Paper Mario game. Yeah. <laughs> I think Junior Troopa there kind of steals the spotlight. You know, that little cameo Easter egg appearance there. Because he was far more pro he was a much more prominent character than uh, Zip Toad ever was in this game. Anyway, I'm heading on over to this side because now that I have Bobbery, check this out. Yeah! Shortcut into the underground city. Uh, I should also buy some stuff from Dazzle Shop here because I've got a bunch of shine... Uh, shine sprites? No! I've got a bunch of star pieces here. How about the Flower Saver badge? Yep. And let's go with the peekaboo. Well, yeah, no, actually, a heart finder would probably be a little better. I'm gonna think of it. All right, on the five. Happy heart or happy heart partner? Don't I have one of these already? Like for each? Yeah, I'll just get either or, I suppose. Not many more left. You're welcome. Yes, yes, most certainly. Now I came back over here as well because now that I have that. Ah! I missed my jump. jump. <laughs> now that I have the spring jump, see this pole right here and these little drip marks? That's an indicator that there's a pipe that you can jump on to get on top of this roof. From here, you can... Look at that! There's a shine sprite all this time on top of this pillar. The first pillar that we got a, sh a shine sprite from be behind in this place. Look at it. It's gorgeous. All right, now from here, there are a couple of other things that I would like to do before going back over to, um, uh, oh my god, I can't think of the professor's name for some reason. You know his name. <laughs> I can't believe I'm just brain farting here. And that is to go over here, grab onto this pole. You might have noticed from the other side that there was a crack on the other side of the wall, which indicates that you can blow it up from this side, which leads to a treasure chest which contains a defense or defend plus partner badge. Not too bad of a reward. And now if you follow this path. Ah! Missed the pole. Come on. Ah, there we go. Now if you follow this side. Over to the pipe. Remember there was a pipe on the lower ground that we couldn't get to via boat? Guess what we can do now? Guess. Guess. Oh, too late. You took too long to guess. Alright, so inside this house contains... Look at this. A star piece. Sitting right on the hammock. Yee-hoo! It's also a slightly leaky house, as you can tell. Um, I don't really think there's anything else in here besides that uh, star piece. I could be wrong, though. But, uh, yeah. It's just, this house is here for what seems like some sort of ex-sailor. Maybe this was Bobbery's old house or something. <laughs> Wait, actually, what am I taking guesses here for? Maybe Goombella has something to say. Down below rope park, there's nobody here. I wonder where they went. Ah, uh, nope, not helpful in the slightest. So that house's uh, uh, owner will forever remain a mystery. Oh, dang it. There we go. I'm going backwards. Whatever works, works. Dilly dallying some more while Professor Frankly is checking over that book. Yep, I remembered his name. I remembered his name. Go down here and watch your step. Oh! oh! Go over there, thank you. X marks the spot. Look at that. There's a pipe here. And this pipe, you get a little preview of what's behind that block, by the way. Inside this chest is a flower saver partner badge. Oh yeah. I'm out of here. Professor! Professor! 
Are you done yet? Judging from the music, it sounds like it. Ah, excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost, and you must use the cannon there, and it will blast you. Uh, hello? We're using a cannon to get to the moon? Isn't that, like, dangerous? I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Accounts from Far Outpost speak of a device that can launch anything anywhere, even to the moon. Great, sounds super, really. So, where is this Far Outpost, anyway? I believe there's a pipe to Far Outpost somewhere beneath Roadport. I'm not sure the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an Ultra Hammer to get it. Spoiler alert, we already seen the pipe when we took that little preview route. An Ultra Hammer? Yes, apparently the Ultra Hammer is made for opening the way is hidden here in town. We'll have to figure out how you're going to find it though, because I don't know. Hmm. Good luck with that. Once you find it, the path to Fire Outpost will open. You got it, Professor! Fire Outpost, here we come! Well, after you find the hammer. <laughs> oh yes, uh, one more thing you should be aware of. The bob who live there are sort of a surly bunch. They might not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck! Get that last crystal star. It was written that the Ultra Hammer is somewhere in town. Find it first, okay? And the way to Fire Outpost will be revealed. Alrighty, so where could an Ultra Hammer possibly be hidden. Where could an ultra hammer be hidden? Hmm. Oh, wait. This chest that was here since the very beginning of the game. Could it be? Why, yes it is. Again, part. The way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will be even more powerful, and you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like with the Super Hammer, so no problem. Hold down B and rotate control stick until your body gets twisty. You release B to use your Ultra Hammer. You're gonna twist a lot before releasing B, okay? This is basically this the same move that we've already done before. Yep, this move. It doesn't look like it's upgraded, but it's upgraded. <laughs> Way to go! You got it! Wanna try it again? No, thank you. Alright! You mastered the Ultra Hammer! Hunt! Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this! Remember that block? Yep! Well, I should say all blocks that are made out of stuff like that. And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too! Hmm. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And and be careful on your quest, okay? Goodbye, Toadette. I will miss you so. So, we got the hammer. Oh yeah. By the way, if you go back out here, and if you go... Come on, there we go. Got to load. <laughs> and go back through here. The chest! It's completely gone! Where'd it go? Who took it? How did that even happen? Who knows? Who knows? What I do know, however, is that I'm going to go and upgrade some partners. So... Let's see, I got 10 Shine Sprites here, a whopping 10. Um, how about a Smooch? I think a Smooch sounds like a good idea. Shazimi! Shazumi! Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Next up, who should I do? Who should I do? That seems pretty handy, actually. That is. Probably this. Yeah, Vivian. That seems like the most useful ability out of all of them. I should say all the abilities that I have right now. I mean, that I can get right now, excuse me. Whoa. 
Remember to use Chet Rippo if you ever want to swap around the stats of your partners, you know, the upgrades of your partners. But I don't think you'll need to do that if you get all the uh, uh, shine sprites. And now... Uh, that is... I really like that move, but it's such an expensive move. <laughs> I will be getting the last couple of shine sprites soon, though, so I think I'm going to go with uh, Flurry for now. Yeah! Alright! Power up! Macho Grubba! Wait, what? <laughs> Woo! Alrighty. Now, since I've got the Ultra Hammer, I can do a little something something back in the sewers as well. Alright, going into Shortcutville here. You remember these two pipes which led to the Boggly Woods and Petalburg? Go over here. Oh yeah, two more shortcut pipes you now have access to once you blast that block into a million pieces. And of course, there's a treasure chest you can collect now as well, which contains a Flower Point Plus badge. And over here, let's start out by whacking that switch first. Yep, yeah, come on, come on, go, go. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, too impatient for this. All right, where does this pipe lead to? I know their I know their locations, like where they go to, but I don't remember which one goes to which. All right, this one leads to Poshley Heights. So you don't have to take the uh, Excess Express every time you want to go there now. Uh, this one over here, let's drop off there. I can't actually see the switch when I jump down on top of it because of the uh, the screen that I see on my TV. So yeah, it's just a little bit cut off on the edges. So anytime you see me jump on a switch like that, it's lucky. <laughs> I mean, I know their general location, so it's not that lucky, but it's it's lucky enough. And as you can tell, this leads over to Keel Hall Key. All right, now I'm gonna go back over to um, uh, the creepy steeple because there's something that I would like to show you over there that not a lot of people know about. I was hoping to encounter an Amazing Daisy along the way, but that just didn't happen. Uh, anyway, now, see this gate over here? Stand in the middle of it. This is this is really weird here. Stand in the middle of it. Spring jump. Look at this. We're on some sort of invisible platform of sorts. It's, it's like there's... It's slightly hilly. Oops. I did it wrong. <laughs> It's ever so slightly hilly, and yeah, for some reason, I don't know why it's there, it just seems to be there for the sake of being there. Wait, can you only do this once? Or something? Or am I just doing this wrong now? <laughs> yeah, by the way, you can press the B button to get uh, recover from that a little bit faster. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I did it, I think. Do it. Wait, no, wait, hold on. Why? There we go. Why didn't that work before? But anyway, as you see, there's there's definitely something here. I don't know what the heck this is. I it, it's probably some sort of glitched platform or something, which is why you can't get up here all the time. And yeah, it's kind of easy to fall off of it. But yeah, that. It's there. It's something that's there and something that you can actually go on. Now, I don't know if there's any more of these sort of things like in the rest of the game. As far as I uh, read, I don't think there are unless people just didn't find any more. But yeah, invisible platform right here. And no, it's, this is not um, that tree that I'm standing on. That tree is in the background, as you can tell. See this? That tree right there? It's way back there, but I'm jumping uh, on top of the platform from over here. Oh, mm. It's kind of tricky to find that sweet spot. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of I worried that I would, wouldn't be able to get back up there after that first time. You know, I thought I jumped off too quick, but nope, you can get up here as many times as you like. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here with this very strange thingamabob. I don't know why it's here, but it's here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. No, I want to... I want to go back up. It's much more comfy. No. No. There we go.